Welcome back to the WHHI TV Daily News. With me now is Bob Bromage, and he is the Director of Public Safety for the town. Thank you for being here today. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. So we've got a little bit to talk about today. We're going to start with uh, traffic. There, uh, it would it would seem that some people have come to the island. Uh, the, the, the visitors are here. <laughs> they are definitely And uh, here. people are out and around. The weather's been beautiful, with the exception of today, of course, it's yeah. rain. But uh, last week, last Thursday, uh, April 4, uh, everybody heard about the traffic on the south end of Hilton and Island near right. the traffic circle. And that was sheer volume of, of vehicles. Uh, there was no, amazing. the adaptive uh, traffic signals were working fine. Uh, our traffic engineers and sheriff's office deputies uh, went out and guided traffic through the Seapine Circle to facilitate the flow. So are we going to be seeing that more this summer, do you think? I mean, it was just kind of a... Well, we need people to be patient and be prepared for that. So yeah. if, you, uh, if you need to be somewhere, leave early. Right. Right. And let's talk a little bit about some of the days and some of the things that are coming up. Obviously, Saturday's turnover day. So right. that's going to be a time when, again, patience is going to come into right. play. You, you, you get traffic backed up in Bluffton, sometimes beyond the Tanger outlets, and uh, people get frustrated. But again, if you uh, need to be on the island on Saturday, leave early. Uh, right. You know, you start driving in the afternoon, you're going to run into that heavy traffic. Yeah. I know. I've, I've done that myself, where I've gone so off I, island and I've yeah. thought, oh, oops, it's Saturday. What did I do? What did I just do to myself? <laughs> and of course, we have Heritage coming up. Right. And we have, <clears throat> and again, with the tourists, um, a lot a lot more bicyclists as well. So we've got to be careful of Very careful. the bicyclists. So we've got to right. be careful of the big party on the Heritage lawn. And then, you know, maybe let's not get in our cars after we do that. Things like that. Yeah, if you're planning on having alcohol, uh, you know, certainly call uh, for a ride, Uber, yeah. Yeah. taxi, a friend. Right. Uh, we don't need uh, people that are intoxicated on the road. It, uh, and again, we have people on the bike paths. I mean, we've had fatalities in the past. Right. And uh, that is one of our biggest concerns. So, of course, the other thing we need to talk about when we're talking about traffic and tourists being here is, of course, short-term rentals are just going to keep getting more and more and more as we head into the season. So I know there's a new ordinance. What are some things we need to know about that? The town's ordinance went into effect in January 2023, and it regulates short-term rentals. Uh, permitting, business licenses, parking, noise, and trash are the biggest problems we face, and that's actually in the ordinance. Uh, the tenants uh, can be fined. Uh, the owners can be fined, cited, uh, yeah. and it actually carries criminal charges. So, so be careful on that. Yeah, please do. Yes, please. And. It, by and large, short-term rental property management companies and the owners are very uh, cooperative. But we do have, we've identified a few problem properties and, and reached out to the owners and got a good response. So hopefully that takes. But uh, again, yeah. it's something we're serious about, the quality of life on Hilton Head Island. Absolutely. Uh, we have uh, we had more than 7,000 short-term rentals permitted last year, and we're getting to that number again. So yeah. it's, uh, <clears throat> it's big for the local economy. Uh, but I also, you know, we need to control the behavior that comes with it. Of course. And so if somebody is <clears throat> wanting to go through that process, how what how, what do they do? How do they start that process of getting their permitting? They right? contact the town of Hilton at Allen uh, okay. through the website, and they can get all the information. Now. And that process takes about how long? Well, it could take a month or, or better. Okay. So, if so you know, a site plan, do they have to include a site plan with a parking plan? Uh, and again, there's no parking on the street, there's no parking on the grass, there's no parking off-site, so only uh, the allotted number of vehicles uh, are, yeah. are, are tolerated. So. Yeah. Well, so if you are thinking about having a short-term rental property and you are not properly permitted, you better get on it because the season is almost here. It is. And make sure that you are being careful out there as you're driving and bring some patience with you. Thank you so you much. You have for to. Being I mean, here. we've got a lot of uh, we've got a lot of people on the island already, and it's only going to get busier. Right. Uh, one other thing I'd like to touch on is some of our beach regulations, if I can. Sure. Um, no alcohol is allowed on the beach, and I think uh, people come from different areas of the country where maybe it's uh, it's tolerated, but there's clear signs at our beach access points that indicate what the what the rules are. Stay out of the dunes. Don't dig holes more than one feet deep. Uh, that protects our sea turtles. The dunes protect uh, our inland properties uh, yeah. from uh, storm inundation. So. so just, you know what, just follow the rules, guys. Thank that, you so much great. for being here, Thank Bob. Thank you. And we'll be back in a minute.